What is up guys, this is Unsure106, and today is not a vlog, even though I'm doing this on my vlogging channel. Today is going to be a tutorial on how to live stream to YouTube using a Mac and, let me get it here for a second, oh, nice little leg, and using Flash Media Live Encoder. So, uh, I've seen a lot of tutorials on the internet on how to do this, uh, but basically, I had to learn myself. Uh, there's not like very good tutorials on the internet right now on how to do this on a Mac and to YouTube, like how to live stream to YouTube, not to Twitch. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, uh, anything that I do, make sure to leave them in the comments below because uh, I'll be able to answer them, hopefully. Because uh, I've done this multiple times now and I'm, I got a pretty good handle on it. So there is a couple of programs that you're going to want to download before thinking about uh, live streaming to YouTube. Also, you're going to want to make sure you have a pretty decent internet connection to live stream. You can't have like a really shit one or else it's just not going to work out good. You And you got to make sure you have a decent computer because uh, on my PC, uh, the processor is very, very old. It lags like, like, like hell. <laughs> It's not going to work. So make sure you got a good internet connection, a good PC, and uh, have a HD PVR. Obviously, you need that. But <laughs> Okay, so the first program you're going to want to get is Audio Hijack Pro. Now, you want to make sure you get the full version of this, not the free version. The free version is horrible. Uh, after 10 minutes, it makes your audio go all fuzzy and stuff. So make sure you get this version, the, the full version. It does cost some money. But uh, there is ways to get it free. <laughs> also, ITV, you're going to want to get that. Excuse me. It's had a nice little burp there in my mouth. Uh, so make sure you get ITV as well. That's not free either, so uh, figure out a way to get that free. Uh, next thing you want to get is Cam Twist. This is free. Luckily, this is free. Cam Twist. And then obviously, you want to get Flash Me Encoder. Uh, pretty sure that's free as well. So uh, you guys are in luck and Soundflower is in is free They're all those are free. So only two programs are not free. So it's pretty good. It's pretty easy to live stream uh, If you know how to get programs free <laughs> That's basically what I'm telling you guys. Okay, let's get into this So you're gonna want to open up everything in a certain order You don't want to open up flash media first because then you're gonna get some errors and it's just not gonna turn out uh, very nice. So let's open up Audio Hijack first. Next thing you want to open up is Cam Twist. Then Soundflower. Make sure if Soundflower is chilling out at the top here. It's chilling. And guys, by the way, I will be including uh, links in the description to uh, places where you can get uh, ITV Audio Hijack. Uh, Cam Twist, so you guys won't don't have to go searching around. I will provide links in the description. All right, where was I? So I have Cam Twist, Audio Hijack open. Next thing you want to do is open up ITV. Then I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to open this up quite yet. I'm going to walk you guys through what to do with these programs first. So let's first start off with Cam Twist here. First thing you want to do is click this right here. Actually, before you do this, you're going to want to go to the top here and go to the preferences and uh, hit up the generals tab here. General tab, not generals. Uh, make sure the frame rate is at uh, 30 frames per second. Video size 1280 by 720. Oh, my computer is starting to heat up now <laughs> as soon as I opened up all those programs. All right, so make sure that's good to go. Also, your vid video devices, if you have uh, a camera that you want to use while live streaming, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that as well. So... Make sure you got the proper aspect ratio there. All right, so let's get into this. You want to go to your video sources, hit desktop plus, hit select. Then that will make this pop up over here. And you want to unclick full screen, uh, filter out uh, like windows that are on top of this. It'll make sense in a second. Um, earlier this was not working for me. It was not filtering them out, so I'm going to leave it unchecked. Uh, so now you want to click uh, Confine to Application Window and select ITV, obviously, Component Video. 
And I'm just going to move this up here for a second. And guys, a lot of people in tutorials, they make it really small like this. So like, guys, you got to make it very, very small so like it's not like all cluttered over your desktop and it makes your computer run faster. But if you make it small like that, the quality is going to be absolutely diarrheic. <laughs> Terminology I'm using right now is not very good. So make sure this is at a decent size because then you're going to get better quality. And also, if you have an external monitor, hook that shit up so you can put this on the second screen. Uh, I use two monitors when I live stream. Alright, so you got to want to make this a decent size. Once again, head over to head back to Cam Twist here and hit Select Capture Area. I have no idea why this is down here. I'm gonna have to hit Refresh and then uh, Select Capture Area again. And this is where it selects. Obviously, hold Shift. No, Shift doesn't work. Uh, this is where it selects uh, your video that's gonna be going live to your live stream. So make sure this is good and not leaving black bars and capturing this thing at the top uh, go to view no don't go to view go to, click cam twist first go to tools preview this is where you can see if it looks good looks pretty good there's some black things you guys can fix that up if you're having problems with that just fix it up uh, you can change this around as you can see look there you go looks pretty looks pretty good all right so that's all you gotta do with ITV so press done selecting and that's good to go uh, next things you want to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do face cam quickly. This is going to be really quick. So just click uh, webcam here, uh, hit PIP, don't hit select, hit PIP, and it pops up over here. And then uh, webcam settings, select what webcam you want, uh, place it wherever you want, scale it how big you want it. I think you guys get it. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of that quickly. That's how you do a webcam. It's not too difficult. Alright, so after you've done that, it's time to head over to Audio Hijack. Now, there's not much you have to do over here, luckily. So, uh, first things first, if you do not see an uh, icon looking like this, looking like a microphone, you can just click on any of these and uh, go to Source Type and change it to uh, Audio Device, and then you can get it. You can get the microphone, but I'm just going to change it back. If you're seeing a microphone, you're good to go. Just click on your microphone thing there. So, go to Input Device. Uh, Make sure to put this on whatever microphone you're using. Built-in microphone. Uh, I'm going to be using a Yeti stereo microphone, so I'm going to select that as my input, and my output is going to be Soundflower Channel 2. Make sure you have that on Soundflower 2. That is very important. All right, so basically, he's got to hit hijack now. And basically, what that does, it hijacks his microphone and is going to send all the audio from this, and they're going to send it to Soundflower Channel 2. That made any sense to you guys. <laughs> I'm going to minimize that because I'm done with that. I'm going to minimize uh, Cam Twist as well. I'm done with that. And uh, usually I would have these things chilling on my external monitor because uh, it's a lot easier with this stuff out of the way. All right, guys. So we're, it's looking pretty good right now. We've got Cam Twist set up and Audio Hijack. Next thing you want to do, it's time for Flash Media Encoder. Open up this bad boy and hopefully it doesn't crash. If you did open up all these things in the wrong order, this is going to crash. But luckily I opened it up in the right order. So, once you open up this, you're going to see your input on one side. This is what is going into it and this is your output uh, that's going out to, uh, to YouTube. And uh, you guys probably won't see this right away. So, you're going to want to head over to uh, click click this here check that off and head over to your device make sure this is set on cam twist that's where it's going to be getting the video from mine's checked just make sure yours is checked on uh, cam twist and then you guys can do the same settings I have here uh, YouTube defaults it at a pretty low uh, pretty low uh, video quality 320p or 360p whatever it's called uh, so yeah it's going to be sitting at this either way, frame rate, uh, 30 frames per second. And you want to make sure, go over to your audio now, go to your device, Soundflower Channel 2 is highlighted here. Make sure you have that on Soundflower 2, that's very important. Uh, channels, doesn't really matter, like, 
bitrate 64 you can make it the same as mine you can pause the video and check it out if you wish now this is where uh, we put in the URL from YouTube this is some important information this is uh, how flash me encoder knows where to send this type of information I'm receiving a lot of invites from Marshall right now obviously if you check that out uh, so <laughs> This is going to be a very long uh, tutorial here. It's okay, guys. I'm doing this in detail. Next, so you want to head over to your YouTube channel page to get this information. Open up uh, your internet browser, obviously, if you're not retarded. And uh, go to Live Events in Video Manager. Hit New Live Event. Fill this shit out. Type in... Uh, Gay stream. Type in whatever you want. Um, tags, whatever you want. Description. Start time, 2 o'clock. Uh, end time, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And make sure you ch check this at the bottom. I agree with the terms and services. Go to event settings. Look at this. Gay stream. Uh, recording to. You can either record this stream or not record it. YouTube automatically records it for you and uploads it to your channel so shortly after your stream. So you can decide. I'm going to disable that. Uh, claiming options. If you want to put money on this, if you want to make some cash, some dough, even though you make like two cents, you can do that if you want. And uh, after you do all that, great event. Now, this is where you're going to grab this type of information I was talking about earlier. So go to your uh, flash media encoder here select your encoder obviously you want to put it as that then head down to export settings download this profile the primary one here downloads goes right into there we minimize this we're done with internet now we're gonna head back over to flash media encoder I uh, hit file open profile go to downloads and uh, open up the file that you just downloaded open 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 and if this error comes up it's okay just click okay and uh, you're basically good to go now you got your information in here just make sure you hit connect and that connects it right to the service now it's ready it's good to go and guys that's basically it I'll just tell you guys the truth uh, it's looking pretty nice right now I can start the stream uh, one thing before you guys leave if you want to know how to do audio delay you can do that in audio hijack here so sometimes people have a shitload of delay on this here while playing. And make sure, look, see how it's delaying two seconds right there? Make sure that's at, at the top and not delaying at all. Uh, if you have a slow computer, obviously it's going to be delaying a little bit. Josh is in the lobby. Nice. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to put audio delay on your voice. So you're going to want to head back over to Audio Hijack Pro. Hit effects. I'm going to delete this for a sec. Fuck, I don't even know how to delete it. Alright, well, click on any of these. It doesn't really matter. Picture, this was not here. Click on this. Got an audio unit effect. Apple AU Delay. Hit that up. Bring this over to two seconds. Make these go to uh, 08. Yes, you can make that one go to zero and make sure this is at two second delay time. And if you want any more than a two second delay, you can just put another one here, make it four second delay. Four second delay. That's how easy it is, guys. That's basically it. Um, I've forgotten one step, guys, that I'm going to show you. So if, you, or if you're still not listening, you're going to be fucked when you do this. <laughs> Go to ITV, go to preferences, go to sound, go to your uh, sound area, go to audio output, sound flower channel 2. Make sure that's on. That means it'll be sending this game volume to sound flower channel 2. Make sure that's on that. Now, going back to Flash Media, when you put this information in, it resets this for some reason. So change this back to sound flower channel 2. Hope that all made sense. Then you click start and you're good to go. It starts streaming and that's it. I hope that all made sense, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the description. 
Not in the description, in the comments. <laughs> in the comments. I'm losing how to speak here. I'm done this. I'm done this tutorial. I think uh, you guys have sticked around for too long now. Uh, I'm just going to explain this quickly because I really want you guys to understand this. This Soundflower 2 action. Basically, you have your... I'm going to up, uh, open this up. Basically, you have your uh, Yeti microphone or whatever it is. See how it's set to Soundflower 2. This one's set to Soundflower 2 as well. That means both these things, both these inputs are being sent to Soundflower 2 and then interlaced right into Flash Media Encoder. Why can't I open up Flash Media Encoder? There it is. Right into Soundflower 2, right here. I just wanted to explain that quickly because I did not understand that when I was watching other people's tutorials. Guys, this is Uncharted 106. Make sure to drop a like if this helped you out. Stay frosty, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.